Hey guys, and I am here with a new project pen thing. I was deciding on what I wanted to do if I wanted to do another project 10 pen and have it end until the end of the new year. And then I saw the whole project, no, finish six by Christmas. And I thought I might do that. I have things that are just going to be things that I wanted to finish from skincare, oops, skincare and makeup. And um, I'm just going to update those maybe at the same time. Um, basically, let's do a skincare. Some items for skincare I am counting as one. Actually, one item I'm counting as one because there's just not that much in it. And it is my hand creams. There's like a few things left in this one, but it's basically almost done. And I have this full tube. And it's, since it's going to be um, fall time, winter time ish, it's going to start getting cold and dry dryness um, speaking of dry I have um, two face lotions that I want to count these each as um, as one item they're both going to be one item it is my day and night creams not really creams they're more like moisturizers because okay well this is called a night firming cream and this is called a moisturizer but yeah, basically my face skincare stuff. Um, let's still go on the moisturizing routine and let's talk about my Utterly Smooth Body Cream. I've had this for almost a year and I've gone halfway through it. If you can see, white on white, not the best thing to see. But I have quite a few things, I have quite a bit left and I'm hoping to finish this by Christmas, which would be great. I also have like my Lubiderm, the one right over here. Like I switched off like between them sometimes, so that's why I should have been finished with this even though I'm not. But yeah, now that if I could focus on this, I'm pretty sure I should be done within a few months. For my hair, <laughs> you guys are probably gonna be laughing at me if you have followed me since like, I don't know when I started doing this, I've always brought this up and it's my hair mask I always keep saying that I want to get this in and it's not like I have halfway done but it's a hair mask like you can use quite a bit of it and I still have a lot left I could say that I have probably like 10 uses left on here it sounds ridiculous but it's a pretty big pretty big jar it's a decent sized jar the fact that I'm like feeling my hair and my ends feel so dry makes me want to put this on so I might put, do a mask this week so for my face care, other than the ones that I mentioned, I have my um, Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. Um, I have about halfway of this, I believe. I didn't even try to check. Whoa. I have like about here to this line left. That's, I should be able to finish this by, by the end of the year. I just have to keep remembering to use it. Sometimes when I'm really, really lazy, I don't wash my face. Don't tell anyone that, but it's true. And then I have um, a cleanser water kind of thing after, and it's this Eskinol Ice Pore Minimizing one. It helps to shrink your pores, but I started to use this for a while, and I think my skin just got used to it, so it doesn't do the pore shrinking thing anymore. But I have up until this line right here about. So, I mean, it's at that part where it's starting to get skinnier. So I should go on pretty quick. And my last thing is this scent. I was always debating about whether or not I should include a scent because I don't use a lot of perfume. Like, I have this green basket is basically contains all of my scents, like my body sprays and perfumes. But I haven't been able to reach. I haven't finished and scent in a while since I've been home since I don't really go anywhere but I do want to start finishing up scents what before they go bad and I'm going to so decided to bring out my Mariah Carey butterfly this is so old but it still smells really great um it's quite strong and it has it's more of like a nighttime kind of scent but you know um I also use this as a room scent kind of thing like I just put it in a little glass jar and then like it diffuses out and, yeah 
So for makeup, I have, I'm going, I'm taking it easy. I don't want to be like, I want to try to finish all these things because like I look at my, what I have and I know there's things that I definitely need to finish, but there's things that I don't need to finish just yet. And these are the things that I'm like, I should probably finish these by the year. Especially since one of them has an expiration date. Um, it is my Lovely Me X um, face primer. Honestly, if I don't finish this, it's fine. Like, I, I don't even know how much I have left in here. But I don't want to try to squeeze it out because it's very liquidy. And it just everywhere. And then I have the two BB creams that I mixed in together. And honestly, if these two aren't finished by the end of the year or... This isn't finished by the time it's expired, I'm going to check it out. If this isn't done by the end of the year, I'm going to just clean out this tube and then put something else in it. And something that doesn't have like, um, have like a pump or anything or a squeezy tube foundation. Because I have foundations that don't have, don't come in pumps. So if I don't finish this by the end of the year, I should, um, I'm going to clean this out. Um, this is my powder foundation. These two work really well together, and I have about a little more than halfway, but I've been using this consistently, and I'm actually surprised how much I've gone through this, when, especially since this was pretty much full, so mm, I might actually be able to finish this up. I'm saying maybe because this is still a lot of product, but you never know. Who knows what could happen in a few months. So for my lips, um, I decided to pull out a new chapstick to try to finish up. It is my Chap Eyes Chapstick. It has like the, one of those menthol feeling ones and I really like it. But um, I, I have made progress on this because I've had this for a while. It's like up to this line so and I don't even know how short this is. I don't want to bring it all the way up and then fear it, fear that I can't bring it back down. So there's my ch chapstick. Something that is important to make sure you finish are mascaras, and I want to finish up my Wet n Wild Mega Wear. Um, I like this mascara. It's really great. It gives me enough length and volume without it being so totally dramatic. So that's what I like about it. And then I decided to go easy for my eyeliner and I decided to try to just finish off my um, pencil eyeliner. Gosh, that was took forever. Um, and that's because I feel like I should try to finish this. I'm hoping that I could. Um, I'm not going to make do that paper thing where you can line it because it's just going to only be this one. But... I'll use my finger as a marker. So far this is, because this is just the handle, it's okay, it's okay. This is about the size of my pinky, so I have that as my reference. And um, I do have other things that I want to finish up, but they're just so close to finishing that I'll just, you know, it's kind of like a redundancy, I guess, like my pencil eyebrow fillers and things like that but these are things that I feel like will be more of a challenge the makeup and the skincare things and the scent to finish than the other stuff and yeah um thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye